Hello, hello. This is Jason. Jason, to tell people how you greeted me, the first words you said to me here at the Dice Tower Con. So, tell me how about Poland in the World Cup? <laughs> yeah, we lost and even America people are making fun of me. This is very bad. Uh, well, I was rooting for Poland. You know that my... Yeah, that was very short rooting, right? My grandmother on my dad's side is from Poland. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, from uh, Krakow, so... Very close to my city. Oh, Seriously. so I was rooting for Poland there. I'm one one quarter Polish. So I was rooting for Poland too, but they didn't do very well in this World Cup. No, and, unfortunately. And I know how big a soccer fan you are. Yep, yep. So hello, hello, we just uh, finished the setting up the booth. Uh, look here, it's freaking awesome. We have the whole room for the for the attendees because they are playing the detective and the detective needs uh, to be focused, to be concentrated, to read the cards, to think. So we have the whole room for them so they can play in a very, very comfortable conditions. And yes, now we will go to eat something uh, because we did a great, great job today. I think I missed something because everybody is leaving the room. Uh, the commission started, it was a board game breakfast. Uh, recording, I was sitting at a booth, so I was not here, but apparently there was a good time. I am after the very first demo of uh, Detective here in uh, the Dice Tower Con and it went super super smooth, I'm super super happy. Apparently the convention case, the case that takes about one hour is, is intense enough and has enough meat that the players enjoy solving it and yet it is super super short, super super quick uh, to play. And, uh, now it's time for a seminar and then I'm going back to Playtest in the deck. Yes, you are, on, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are in my vlog right now. Cool. Ignacy, what do you look for in a pitch when someone comes to you with a game idea? Yeah, this is exactly what was said. That I'm looking for the games that will match the, our lines. And there's so many designers who uh, sent us uh, prototypes that we will never publish, even if the game is super, super awesome, but if this is a family game or this is an abstract game, I will not publish it. So if you're sending email and pitch to the wrong publisher, you might have a wrong message because maybe you think the game was bad. No, it wasn't bad. It was just not for the right publisher. So mm -hmm. you definitely have to do research exactly as it was said uh, and find a publisher who who will like the game and convince them, hey, this is like other games in your catalog, hey, it may fi fit your lines. Mm, and uh, basically, if you are a game designer, maybe you are not the salesperson, so maybe you, your pitch is not super, super awesome, so maybe you can consult with your friends mm, or somebody who can help you how to pitch the game, because uh, it is a moment of making a sale. Yes, you, may, you have to convince publisher that your product, your prototype is awesome, and so if you don't have a, such a skill, find somebody to help you, because this is the moment of truth. Like, you have something good, hopefully, but it is not yet enough. You have to sell it, right? We are excited to have the CEO and famed designer, 
a nasty chubby check from Portal Games. <laughs> we were going to slide it. Now, all the cookies are on napkins, so they're sanitary and everything. We're going to slide it over to you. You will taste the cookie and see if you can identify the flavor or what type of cookie it is. But using your mouth only because you will be blindfolded, no <laughs> peeking. And put on the blindfold. This is happening. I can't get it. <laughs> Why so small? Because <laughs> it's. Well, you kind of tore it in half. So it's Oreo? It is an Oreo! Absolutely. Congratulations! First day of convention, the rumor and the gossip about the deck keeps spread around the convention, and now we are in a situation that we have like a ton of people in the room just waiting in the line to play the deck team, which is uh, super, super nice, super, super ridiculous, and we have no idea what to do with all these people. Fantastic, fantastic game. About your expertise, sir, what shall we start this? Well, seeing as to how each of these lists for about 10 to 15, and the base game will be, what, 60? 100 bucks. It's okay. very cheap. $100 for a complete set of Nurshima Hex. $100 right here. We have two at 100 so... And you are getting four on Iron Game. $160 right here. So $170 is the bid. $170. $160 going once. 160 going twice, and sold. By the way, we're taking a look here at a lovely lot of Imperial Settlers. You're getting the base game. You are getting the three small expansions. We didn't start the fire. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning. Three is a magic number. Come on, do it. No. Okay. And this one. This is, you know, that's why, Sam, that's why. Why can't we be friends? One ninety going once, one ninety going twice. Sold to the man in green. It's happening. I will destroy him. This time I will destroy him. He's going down. Hello, hello, Igor Chick Portal Games. Thank you, everybody, at the Dice Tower Convention who visit our room, Bonair One, and play Detective. Here is behind me, you can see all the notes you guys took. It was freaking, freaking, freaking awesome. Thank you, everybody, once again for playing Detective. It was a great, great adventure for us. We are very, very sorry that not all of you had the chance to play the game because there were so, so many people who wanted to play the game. We had three tables running over, over, and over again from the morning till the night. Once again, great time at the Dice Tower Convention. Thank you for you thank you for being with us and see you hopefully next time this is a recording, recording. give it a wave it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> so this is it uh, end of the convention it's sunday evening i'm at the airport in orlando about two maybe three hundred people and managed to play detective at the at the show we were running demos all day long from the morning till the evening first two tables then because there was so huge demand we printed on sign the additional prototype of the detective i drove literally drove with my pen a board and uh, we had three tables and now fingers crossed uh, that all of these people there will be some people who will start talking about the game uh, on the internet uh, on the facebook groups on the board game geek I saw, I saw, I saw people liked the game, they were enjoying, they were engaged. Mm, yeah, so I'm pretty, pretty happy with the results. And now 10 hours flight to Frankfurt, 2 hours flight to Poland, couple of days of jet lag and a huge, huge, huge preparation for Gen Con, the actual release of the game, a huge premiere. Uh, and I cannot wait for you guys to actually play the final game. I know that in the meantime, my team was 
sending uh, pre-order copies to you guys, so many of you will reach, will receive the game in a couple, couple of days. So stay tuned and fingers crossed that some positive waves about the detective start appearing on the internet. Uh, 30 second. what do you think of Detective, because you played with this? Detective from Ignasi and Portal Games is, no joke, the best mystery detective deduction game I have ever played. We played it for, th what, three, three, hours. three and a half hours. hours roughly last night in a room. The three of us, my wife Melanie, and we were just heads down into it, oh, talking yes. on the yep. computer, ch Googling things throwing around just different theories of what was going on. It felt like we were in CSI or Law and Order or any of those shows. It just felt like we were those characters figuring out all these mysteries. It was amazing. It beats all those other games. Sherlock Holmes, Time Stories, all of them. This is my game now. It was, that's, that's quite an endorsement I'm, right there. I love, that's my, that, that's my wheelhouse, right? I love that kind of game. And this one just does it great with not even a lot of rules. It's very simple to play. Mm -hmm. It's all reading the cards and just talking about what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. Figuring it out. Little mechanics here and there to kind of spice it up, but I love it, man. I love it. Detective is good. Hello, hello, Ignacio Reportage. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is Chick Piece. Uh, thank you for watching, getting these super, inform super important information. See us next week. I have no idea what will happen. It looks like it is the average we get Portal Games, besides the fact that so, so, so many of you will get a detective in your hands, so we'll probably show some feedback from the internet. See you next week. Thank you.